Hello my friends! Today I am inspired by some new art supplies that I got and I'm ready to do another art journal page so I thought I'd take you along on this journey with me uh, just for fun and maybe you will both learn something new. So let's get started. Alright, so um, as you can see I still have the same art journal from last time. Uh, I never finished it for 2012 like I wanted to. Um, got too busy being lazy over the holidays. Um, but I have, I don't know, maybe four spreads left. And whenever I have extra paint left over from another project or another art journal page, I just slap it on a blank page. So I already have some color down for here, some blue, greens, and yellows. And like I said, I'm excited about some new supplies that I have. Um, I bought a new paintbrush and I didn't realize it was a long one, which this isn't very practical for art journaling, but I needed a brush, so we'll use that. Um, I bought two new paints. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> but turquoise and yellow. Excited about those colors. And I also got some white India ink and a white pen. It's kind of like a paint pen called Pen Touch. So I'm not sure if I'll use those today because I'm thinking with these colors, I'm going to want some black on that. So, but those are new. Oh, and I also carved a whole bunch of new um, stamps that I, I added to the shop too. So if you like them, you can check out the shop for those stamps. But I wanted to give, um, I'm really liking the circles. And then maybe this a chevron because I got new tape too so and I love this black with this so yeah that's all I have planned there's nothing really planned I'm just inspired by these products and I'm gonna just wing it and we'll see how it comes out so first things first um I already have some color down so I'll start with some texture usually I do maybe some writing but I have nothing really to say today I just want to play so I think I'm going to start with this stamp with some yellow and I'm going to go get a sponge. I'll be right back. Okay, um, usually it's good to use one of those black foam paint brushes, but I don't have one, but I did find a cosmetic sponge. So I'm going to dip a little in the paint and let's hope this works out. <laughs> Add a little to the stamp. Let's start stamping. Ooh, I like that. Add a little more. And I never care for a perfect stamp impression. I like when it's like missing some areas like that. So I don't tend to do anything perfectly. <laughs> Which is funny because I am a perfectionist in real life, <laughs> but when it comes to my art, I just love to be messy. So I'm going to finish stamping this up. I'll speed it up and be right back. Okay, um, no idea where to go from here, but I do have a ton of yellow paint left over, so I think I'm just going to dip my finger in and see what happens. I never like to waste paint or anything. So... I'm just rubbing it around. I have no idea what I'm doing, but getting that paint out of my palette and keep on moving. Most times I never know what the heck I'm doing with my art journal. I just take out some stuff and start playing. You never know if it's going to come out good or bad. We'll see what happens today because <laughs> this is looking pretty funny. Okay. I don't know. I know. 
my one and only and absolutely favorite stand. I mean, stencil. I love circles. And you know, for another, what was I doing? Oh, for the canvas painting that I did. I don't know if, if you're a fan of my Facebook. Um, I recently posted a picture of the canvas that I finished and I wanted some circles on there and this was too small so I just took a piece of cardstock and took a hole puncher and started punching a million holes because I didn't have punchinilla on hand so um, I have that it has a bigger bigger hole and I found that these are great for using paint and stencils too because when I use my finger or a paintbrush, it always seeps underneath. But with this, it's perfect. See? And I wish I knew that when I was doing the canvas, because I got globs of paint everywhere on that canvas. But it turned out good. If you have if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should check out my Facebook page. I'll post a link. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> my first canvas in two years and it came out awesome and it was for a Christmas gift for my friend. Okay, see I'm just randomly covering the whole page. I don't know why, because I don't know what else to do. Okay, that is a pretty color. All right, let's see what's next. You know what, I already feel black. I already feel like we need blacks. I don't know. I don't know. I just love black. <laughs> I'm running out. I need to get a huge bottle. These little things don't do me. All right. <clears throat> Kicking out the chevron. Ooh, doesn't that look pretty? Okay. My first time using this stamp. I was never a, I was never really a fan of chevrons until I don't know they just keep popping up everywhere. It's like the thing, and then get used to seeing it. And now I'm excited about it. Cricket's fine. That's all good. Ooh. I want to do some more. Okay, I already feel, well, I, I want drippies. Maybe this way instead. <gasps> to go with the arrows. Yeah. What color should I do blue? I don't know why I'm doing drippies already. Drippies is usually last. I don't know why. So let's shake things up and do it first. Or in the beginning. My silly big paintbrush. Mm, go with my grubby one. I guess I should have checked the uh, description when ordering online. You never know what size it is. Right, I'm turning this upside down. I got my brush really wet. Ooh, it's dripping already and dipped it into the paint. So it's mostly water. No. Don't even need to spray it with a spray bottle. It's dripping like crazy. Make sure you have a towel on your workspace or you're gonna get paint all over it. I want it to come down more. More paint. More paint, I say. More paint. More, 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 more. We need more water. Oops, fingers in the way. Oh, that created something funky. to do next while I was digging through my stash and I came across these. Um, they came in a pack and I have no clue who makes them but it's kind of like this weird leather jean material with punch outs. 
and I'm not usually a heart and butterfly girl, but I thought it would be really cute to use a heart with one of these wings. I like this one. That's more of like an angel wing. I got them, I might as well use them sometime, right? Look through your stash. What can you use that's been sitting there forever? I've had those for like a year now and I haven't used anything. Um, that's really cute. I don't know how it's going to work with everything else, but... Um, and I was thinking I wanted some writing in there, but I still have no idea what to write. And I need to buy myself one of those script stamps. The closest thing I have, there's some script on here with some cool things. With some wings, so that kind of goes. So I'm going to use that. More texture, more black, and some writing. This time I'm going to use my ink pad. I don't know why I didn't use ink pad for those. I mean, I could have done that, but it is kind of neat with the acrylic. It's a little bit different. Um, it's a different look when you use the paint versus the ink pad. With a very detailed stamp like this, it probably wouldn't work out so well with the paint on there. I'm just gonna slap that on right in the, right there. Oof. I never get the metal. Oh well. I'll do some more partial stamping to blend it in so it's not just like a big rectangle on my page. What color should we do it? Blue and red. I'm going to use some this magenta color. Yes, magenta. I still have all that blue and black paint in there, which we will need to use up. Oh, hell with it. Sticking in that finger again. When my friend yells at me, she says it causes cancer. I don't know. <laughs> it's just so much easier to stick your finger in. Fun or two. Alright, we need some texture on that baby. Let it dry for a second over here. What about these wings? Oh, I wish I had spray black. Mm. Alright, we'll paint it with the blue first. Can you see that? Sorry. I'm not paying attention to the camera. I'm just having fun playing. I'm just rubbing paint on. Don't worry. Not missing anything. Look at the edges so you don't see the brown. Okay, let those dry for a minute. And what's next? Hmm. I don't know. I still don't know where I'm going. I'm lost. I still want to use this tape, but I don't know why. I don't. I mean, I don't know how. How is this gonna? Should I just add some more coming up with those? Maybe. Now to find the end. The magical mystery end. Ha ha. Oh, it's so fun. I need to buy more tape. Yay. Flying on up, flying on up. 
so I usually talk and think to myself. Excuse me. Black. Ooh, too much. My god, this. Okay, that was too much. Put some more red back on. Now it's gonna mush. Mush it around. Uh, it's like a purpley color, really. Okay. That's kind of cute. I need to do something with the wings. Pokey dots? Why not? Might not be enough, but we'll see. Oh yeah, it's going on. It's going on, it's going on. Pokey Dotty! That's cute. I'm gonna bring the book back over. I don't think I need something else on top of that heart. What else? Something else in the background too. Like it's flying. You know how your butterflies have a cute little trail. <laughs> um, let me think about it. I'll be right back. This is a stencil I made a while back. As you can see, it's well loved. <laughs> it was just a greeting card that I cut out some circles with an X-Acto knife. So I could use that to stencil. I even want maybe some circles that are bigger than that. Maybe I'll cut one down here. That would be cool. Little to big or big to little. I mean, same difference. Little to big. Or random. All right, but I also feel like I need something else like on here. I wonder if I have a little key one. Alright, I have a sheet of keys. I think they might be all too big. No. Oh, I wonder if I have embossing powder. I haven't used that in forever. I don't know if I have any. <clears throat> That could be cute. Let me check if I have embossing powder. I hope so. Woo! I do, I do, I do! I have some leftover embossing powder that I've had. Let me think back now. Seven, eight, nine, nine, about six or seven years. I did for wedding invitations. Awesome. Okay. Most of you have probably used this stuff before, especially if you're a stamper. But if you haven't, it's really cool stuff. It's a powder that sticks to like ink and then you heat it up and it bubbles up and gets all thick and fun. There's so many different techniques you can do with that. It bubbled up because it got too hot, but I kind of like that. It's neat. It's like an old key. This is going to be somewhere around here and I think I'm going to go big. Near here. So I'm gonna put one right here. I wish it was see through. I would do add a little water maybe. Let's see how that works. I dunked the sponge into the water to see if that'll make it a little more transparent. I can always dab it with a paper towel too. Try that. It's a little more. I don't know if I'm liking these black circles anymore. Well, let's keep going. Keep 
keep on trucking and see where it takes you. Kind of, kind of an art journal page. I'm not sure if I'm liking it, but it's interesting. <laughs> uh, okay, I didn't say it was gonna be gorgeous, folks. All right, should I glue that down? And then what? Am I done? Is there something more that I can do? I don't know. I'll be right back. Let me ponder. Okay, I thought it over and I think I have a plan going forward. I want to do a little bit more blue drippies and in, to incorporate um, the tape in a little more too. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to do a little bit more drippies and then I'm going to put um, some gel medium over this tape so it doesn't curl up. Okay, so I added a little more drippies and it incorporated the black dots and incorporated the tape a little more so it looks more layered. And now, as you can see, the tape's already starting to peel, so I'm going to put a layer of the gel medium over it. That should stay put now. And I found some words that I want to write because... Not only is it an art journal where I want to, you know document what's going on but I don't know I just love the look of words in art and it just makes it more meaningful and I didn't even realize it when I started this page you know what you're going through what's on your mind just starts flowing through you and, and you don't even notice it you know I, I, I thought this was just fun random play, but I, uh, it, it has more to do than that. And you'll see. When I start writing, you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to glue that down in a minute. Should I do it now? Alright, I'll do it now. your wings and fly. I think this goes perfectly with our Fearless Fridays discussions. It's time for us all to spread our wings and just fly. Oh, I messed it up. Trying to make it bolder. The dreams and your goals and the things you said that you would do if you knew you couldn't fail. 
those things. I want you to try to focus on those things and take one small step at a time because it's time to spread your wings and fly. You can do it. You can achieve any of those goals if you wanted to. You just take one step at a time and try because you don't know if you can do it if you don't try. What's the point of living if you can't even try to at least accomplish something that you want to? So that's my message for today. And I didn't even know that this was going to come out from the beginning. And it's a wonderful ending. And I still wish this was more bold. It's still not wide enough. It works and I was able to write quickly. Which was nice. My other, the whiteout pen always clogged up on me. The other paint pen that I have, paint marker, was too thick. This didn't work out too well. It goes on too thin. Ooh, I can splatter with it though. <laughs> so, so far, that marker is the best I have yet. But I think I'm going to keep looking for better and better whiteness. Okay, so I'm going to let the rest of this dry, and like I said, I'm going to go over that a couple more times and try to make it more bold, because it's still it's not as opaque as I want it to be. But, and it's hard to figure out where the hell to put this to show you. <laughs> and I'll finish that up, and I'll share some pictures. I hope you enjoyed this little journey with me. It was fun, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.